Best free budgeting apps for iPhone 2024, how to budget. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can use the best free budgeting apps on your iPhone for yourself in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So to start things off, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna come over to your search tab up here. And in your search tab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be searching up the first app that we have. Now, your iPhone is obviously a very discreet device, okay? Basically, not every app on iPhone is on Android and not every app on Android is on iPhone. And obviously, when it comes to your financial stuff and budgeting, you know, it's pretty important to save money for yourself because you know, God forbid, we don't know in the future when the money could run out or when, you know, you might go into an unstable financial crash. Okay. No one knows that. No one knows what the future holds for them. So that's why we have to, you know, stay pretty cautious when uh, working with these financial apps and stay pretty cautious moving forward with all these things. So that is exactly what we're going to do in this video's case. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, to start things off, let's go to the first budgeting app in this video, okay? So, the first app, okay, is a, a pretty incredible app. It's called Fujit, okay? We have Fujit right here. Now, the one thing I was so impressed about this app is its absolute simplicity, okay? Fujitsu is a pretty incredible app. It's uh, for, you know, your budgeting and... Uh, it's a great finance app and it gives you a great financial service and great financial technology. Uh, you can obviously search it up on your Apple and it's going to give you the best financial services that it provides. You can drive digital information and financial services. It gives you everything managed into one app and you know, you can have your currently uh, any type of account set up. You can have different accounts set it up and in those different accounts, you can add in even your bank account, which is one of the best features that I think this application provides us. Because if an app provides you a feature to connect your bank account and let the app automatically, you know, converge statements using your bank account, trust me, that's a winner. That's an absolutely winning app. And I would definitely urge all you users out there to use something like that for yourself, right? Then moving on, once we get the idea of budgeting apps for ourselves, what we're going to do from there is uh, we can also see that it gives you DeFi as well, which is decentralized finance. And the different bank accounts you connect are, you know, a cash envelope user and you have different categories. So you can totally put in the different budgeted categories on here and you can track your transactions just as if you were using your envelope. And that's one thing. But I love that you can just look at this one place, okay, and you can see all of the totals in your bank account. So if I was super impressed, there are options to like upgrade and like pay money for things. But I, like I said, I'm not about that. So I'm only using the free version, which Fujitsu brings you. Now, moving on to the second app that is absolutely free to use, it's called Wallet App, okay. Now, Wallet app is pretty famous in the world of uh, finances, and this is probably the one that I was just shocked at. You know, the capabilities of this app and being free, it just blew me away. And what's nice is that if you are a cash user and you can use this app, if you are a cashless user as well, and you can use this app any way you want, I'm just here to say that you can enter different bank accounts in the budget baker. So obviously, let me show you the interface. So this is what the interface is like. It's absolutely user friendly. You can enter any accounts you want and any previous transactions or future transactions you're going to make. And once you add all of those in, you can get a pretty well off idea of how you're going to use these for your account. And you can plan out your payments and you can plan out all your budgets, which you can schedule with future payments and everything. And it's just so nice to have everything all in one place. You can also look at your statistics through your insights and analyticals app just like, you know, when you're spending and it's just a really, really nice app to work with. So again, it is free and I'm here for all of the budgeting with the free tools available to us now. So yeah, basically that was the second app, a wallet. Now moving on to the third app that I'm going to mention, it's a one that it's super popular and I've never used this app personally, but for, you know, this video, I wanted to, uh, you know, show you and see what is the actual hype about it. So it's a free app called Mint, okay? 
Now, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Mint if you're into actually budgeting and planning your finances. You know, Mint is a huge app. A lot of people use it. Tons and tons of people talk about it. Like, I'm pretty sure my friends and my family members talk about it a lot. So, you know, to get your head around Mint, you know, you can manage money, which is made simple for you. You can discover all the amazing features about Mint. It's such a great place to have everything all in one as well. And you can pay your bills on here in the easiest way. Like, there's no hassle of working on it. All your accounts all in one place in the easiest way. Then, uh, obviously, moving on, you can get uh, a whole support representative-ly, uh, you know, user interface in this. And there's other places that it's connected with as well, like Intuit, Credit Karma, TurboTax, and a whole lot more, which gives you a an idea of how trusted and incredible the app's working is probably going to be. And obviously, I haven't used this app that much, but you can actually see the working of Mint, of how the security is and uh, how the actual savings place works. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty easy. And it gives you the best budgeting apps to work with. So... If I were to write uh, budget, you know, look at this interface. Like, it, the coloring scheme is incredible. The balancing and budgeting is really nice. And it gives you a really good general idea of uh, how you can mess around with all these places in one go, right? So once you've gotten an idea of this, let's move on to another app, okay? Now, this app is called Every Dollar, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure you've heard about Every Dollar, it's a pretty nice, it's a pretty incredible app. You can use this on your desktop as well as your Apple iPhone. And over here, you know, this is your every dollar. It gives you a basic budget and planning, uh, you know, scheme. Now, as you can see, I use every dollar myself as well. And I've added my budget, I've added my schemes, added my, you know, savings, my spendings, and a whole lot more. So, again, as I stated, it gives you a really friendly and really general idea of how we are supposed to work with these things and uh, you know how fun these things are to actually work along with so that's basically the general idea about how you're supposed to work with applications you know like every dollar and uh, all these other applications now one final application that uh, i would you know essentially like to share with you okay because all these applications that were discussed Pretty nice, pretty incredible. But there's also an application that uh, you can use for yourself, and it's called Spendy. Okay, so Spendy is, you know, your basic uh, marketing manager and, uh, you know, the only app that gets your money into shape. So Spendy is pretty nice. It's pretty good. The user interface is pretty cool. And it's, again, one of those apps that I will love using for my decentralized financing and my budgeting. So that's pretty much about it. Those are all the incredible apps that you can use for yourself for your budgeting and finance on your Apple iPhone. So thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.